and um, I actually found out that celibacy it can beautify you. Uh, celibacy can beautify you, whether you are a female or a male. It can beautify your skin, your eyes, your hair, your whole entire body, because you are guarding your uh, sexual energy, you're guarding your body, and it's healing you, it's healing your body, even if someone gets bruised or they get cut by the practicing the celibacy practice, it's healing their body, they're healing their body on the inside and outside of their body, they're healing their brain, they're rebooting by uh, practicing celibacy. They're healing their reproductive organs. The woman is healing their reproductive organs. The men is healing their reproductive organs. Each sperm has its own personality. It has its own uh, intelligence. It has its own gifts. It has their natural gifts. They are people. Those sperm, each sperm, are potential people, future people, futuristic people, so we have that, the male has that inside his body, and it's healing him, and he has their personalities, that's why it makes that man more wiser, more stronger, he's more wiser and more stronger than the regular man, because he has all those different sperms lifted up in his body, he's even thinking different, even women when they're pregnant they be having cravings or they may say or do things that they wouldn't say or do they may eat certain foods that they wouldn't uh eat they would go shopping and buy certain foods they might have been uh they might have been like a a, a vegetarian but the baby might say it want a hamburger or the baby might say it wants some juice some soda they might want certain things but some women don't know how to uh, take care of themselves while they're pregnant. They might go out and try to fight people or, or, or try to argue with people, but no, they should be in an environment where it's easy for the baby, be in an environment where it's people not arguing, not fighting, not quarreling, and the pregnant mother shouldn't drink no liquor, they shouldn't drink no alcohol, they shouldn't smoke no blunts, they shouldn't smoke no cigarettes, they shouldn't smoke no cigars. They shouldn't. They shouldn't be uh, doing uh, jump rope or double dutch. It was a tragic story that I heard. It was a woman. She did double dutch while she was pregnant. They shouldn't do that. You know. They should protect themselves. But back to retrospect. Guarding the chastity is very beneficial for the mental health, spiritual, and physical. Some great boxers, some, some great athletes, they were celebrated. That's how they was able to win. Also, intelligent, wise people that are geniuses, they were celebrated. They stayed away from having a lot of sex. That's why they were so intelligent. So, Doing that is, it has many blessings, it has many great things in it, many things that can elevate you and put you above average, you'd be greater than the average person, but you have to be serious with this. Some people go, they stay away for nine months, you know? So people actually practice this for like nine months. And the results of it is their life is more better because they have more discipline. But first and foremost, you have to discipline your stomach and discipline your taste buds. Watch what you eat. Only eat fruits and vegetables and healthy foods to the best of your ability. Drink alkaline water. Drink spring water. Exercise.
meditate, pray, pray to the Most High. Ask the Most High for the things that you want and then and the things that you need. But make sure these are things that is beneficial for you and beneficial for the world. Thank you for listening. Peace.